Here's a great question, Neely. Pamela asked, since the pandemic started, she doesn't go to the stores often and wonders if the produce she bought last week still has good nutritional content. What do you want to tell Pamela and others who are interested? Thanks, Lex. I love this question. Here's the good news. Even though you bought that produce a little while ago, it is still going to have nutritional value. The bad news is, though, just not as much. It's really hard to predict exactly how much nutrition is lost. A lot's going to depend upon um, factors, um, one of which being how long from the farm to the table or from farm to your mouth. But the loss is not going to be significant. Most importantly, it's going to give you that nutrition that you need from the produce. I'd like to give you three tips um, that will help you preserve the nutritional quality of your produce, as well as give you a bonus tip. Number one, try not to wash and cut your um, produce ahead of time. Um, wait until you're ready to eat it or you're ready to cook it. Unless, of course, washing and cutting and preparing ahead of time will help you be prepared to eat those fruits and veggies. Most importantly, get them in. Number two, store properly. Some produce is best stored at room temperature or in a cool, dark place. Others best in the crisper. There are many resources on the internet. One in particular, Texas A&M um, Ag Extension has um, safe storage of fresh um, fruits and vegetables, and uh, it gives you a table of all the different um, parameters for all the fruits and vegetables. I'll leave the link in the description. Number three, if you think your produce is going to go bad before you get a chance to eat it, preserve it. Before it goes bad, prep it and freeze it. Cut it up, freeze it, so you've got it for future. That's going to help um, in several ways. Number one, keep um, keep you from throwing away food and, um, and wasting money, but also, yes, cutting down on food waste in particular. I don't eat bananas too often, but when I do, I have a tendency to overbuy them. <laughs> so what I'll do um, when they start to turn brown is I will um, peel them and cut them and freeze them and store them for um, like a future smoothie, something like that. Don't let it go to waste. As I've said before, <laughs> freezing is like hitting nature's pause button. The bonus tip I have for you is for cooking your veggies. Too often I see people like add a lot of water, if, especially if they're going to be microwaving something. So what you want to do is the least amount of water and in the least amount of time. Microwave is going to be the, the, the how you can cook the quickest and, um, and I recommend not adding any water to um, your microwave safe dish. The reason being is, is that most vegetables are 90% um, water or more, so they have plenty of fluid in them and it's actually going to release more fluid when you cook them even without water. So that way you're not throwing away nutrition when you're draining it. So those are the three tips I have for you and the bonus tip. Try not to pre prepare too far in advance of eating, um, store properly, and freeze what you may not use right away. Plus, cook in the least amount of time and with no added water if you're microwaving. I hope you found that information helpful. Any other questions, just leave them in the comments um, and um, yeah, I'll answer them in another little quick tip for you. If you like this information, give me a little boop, little thumbs up, let the algorithm know you like it and yeah. Thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.